Yeah. Not enough. <laughs> the coffee pot. Yeah, turn it off. Praise the Lord. Um, you know, let, let's see. Let, we're going to have just a little, let, let me do a little pop quiz. One verse. All together now. Ready? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave us his begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. Yeah, that's pretty good. Almost together. Almost together. Almost. What, what, what does that reveal? It reveals that we're not watching, we're not listening to one another. Well, they need to pick up the pace a little bit. Well, maybe we, maybe you need to slow down. Maybe we just need to go all get together. <laughs> What a day that rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus will sing and shout. What? What's the big word? The victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me and I knew him and all my love. To victory, beneath the blood. How much does he love you? How deep is the Father's love?
go ahead and have a seat. How many of you, um, uh, 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 I'm going to get a, a show of no hands. You've never gone through a tough time in your life, ever. <laughs> Anybody? How many of you had a few rough roads? Maybe some deep water? Some of you will get this. Going over the edge, sharp rocks on the bottom. Bring it on. How many of you have gone through some hard times in your life? Amen. How many of you right now are facing some difficulties? How big or how small? And, and how many of us can say that we're going to trust God with them all? Yes. You see, because many times what happens is that we're willing to say that we believe on Jesus Christ's suffering, his death, and his resurrection, and God paying the price through his son for us to get to heaven, but we don't trust him for the everyday things of life. The Bible says that there, there was, this nothing that was made was, that nothing that there is was not made. Amen? And nothing that you have were you not given? Well, I work for everything. What? There's some truth to that. How many of you are glad that you're able to work? Yes. Amen. Amen. How many of you are glad just you watch this? He woke me up this morning. Amen. And what was on your mind this morning? <laughs> I'd like I'd like to think that I can tell you that every morning I wake up, I got Jesus on the line. But sometimes there's something else that Jumps up in front of him, and you know what I have to say? Would you get out of the way? Jesus is there. <laughs> At least I hope he is. Yes. Come on. Be, I'm being honest. Yeah. How many of you get, wake up in the morning? You've got all kinds of things happening. You're looking at maybe, maybe you're, looking, you're thinking right now, you're here this morning, you're thinking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you're hoping to make it to next Sunday. But you, you woke up this morning, and oh, man, it's Eastern. Wait a second. I've got to get Hammond, a roast, I've got this, I've got that, I've got kids, I've got. Got Aunt, Uncle, Uncle Leroy and Aunt Sue and, 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 and Uncle Jim. And, uh, wait, stop. I got Jesus. Amen. If I got Jesus, I can handle it. Yes, amen. Why? Because I can. Say it with me. I can, I can. do, do, do all, all things through Christ. Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Maybe some of you have gone through some rough stuff, and here's what I want to encourage you to do. You need to be sharing with others. Some of the elders need to be sharing with the younger. Some of the youngers need to learn that they can share with the elders Amen. when they're going through a hard time. Amen. But in order for them to share with the elders, what has to happen is that we have to prove to them that we even care. Watch this. Our Father who's in heaven, has he not proven to you yet that he cares? Amen. Well, if God cares, why did he let this, that, and the other thing happen? Amen. Maybe it is a testing. Maybe there's some things you need to go through because he's got greater things for you to bear. He's got greater opportunities for you to, watch this. He, he said that he's going to bring us life and bring it more abundantly. He also said that when we pray, you know, we, we and we ask for things, there are things that we're not even going to pray for because we're never going to think of them because what God has planned for us are beyond our imagination. The apostle Paul, you know what he said? Well, listen, the first apostle, we, we call him, he's been known as the greatest apostle. And he says, yeah, well, I haven't yet attained what the Lord has for me. I, I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even imagine it. I can't fathom it. But here's what he said. But regardless, I'm still going to press to the high calling in Christ Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Would you right now just look at your hand and say, God, I'm pressing in. I'm pressing in. I've got the listen. I've got waves that are crashing into my life. Lord, some of us we've grown. We've grown a ground. Lord, a, Lord, we, we're, we're, we're taking on water. Yes. But Lord, just like Peter, I'm saying, Jesus, save me, save me. Through the law. 